Hello, everyone. Um, I think I have a sinus infection. I can feel it right in here. And it's hard to talk loud. <laughs> Well, the moment you fell, you could start over new Was it saying that you realized the stories were true? You opened your eyes and the world you could see It wasn't dim, it was brighter, you'd have to agree For today's video, I did want to talk about um, our trip to Disney, which hopefully everything will be good for because it's not for like 23 days. 23 days. Gregory's right next to me, so. She's sick. <laughs> yeah. We are going to be flying down to Miami first, and we're going to spend two nights in Miami. The day that we arrived, we were supposed to arrive at like 2 or 3 in the afternoon. That was initially what was supposed to happen. And then the um, flight got changed. And now we're flying out at 7 in the morning. We will be arriving there at like 10.30 or something like that. Because now it's non-stop instead of having a stop, which is totally fine. But it's really early for like when we have to leave here to get there. I think we have to leave at like 4 or 5 a.m. I'll be good. So then when we arrive, we kind of made a plan, and my phone's not out here. Otherwise, I would show you. I have this art itinerary all kind of, like, lined out. It's not completed yet because I got sick, and I haven't been able to do it. But um, so we kind of planned to, like, arrive and then take a cab to – I'm hoping that – I can't really decide, honestly, because I don't know what kind of, like – what qualifies as a carry-on on an airplane we're gonna be gone for 12 days and my cousins have laundry so like we can bring way less than we actually need i still don't necessarily want to carry around our carry-ons all day but essentially what i think the plan is is to go take a uber or lyft whatever down to the zoo which is about like 25 30 minutes ish away and you know hang out around the zoo until they close at like five and then take the 20 30 minute lift back to our basically where the airport is which is where our airbnb is because i was like oh this will be great we can just walk there then we're gonna go back to our place potentially get changed um on our way, there's like a Walmart across the street. We're going to stop at the Walmart and get like, what did, I think we decided like a dinner and some lunch stuff and then some breakfast stuff. So we're going to do dinner at the Airbnb that night and then um, go to, there's like a club right by it, have fun, see what we're doing. It's like a club and casino, so hang out there if we want to go out otherwise we can stay and if we want to then the next day we're gonna to go to the like stars they're like the Hollywood stars but in Miami and then um, we're going to downtown Miami which is like towards the waterfront and that looks pretty cool and then we're gonna take some sandwiches maybe like eat on the boardwalk or something um, do our day down there and then drive did we say fancy dinner that night? I think so. I think we're going to be doing like a fancier, nicer dinner for like the two of us that night because this is supposed to be an anniversary trip from forever ago. Nicer dinner and then head back to the Airbnb and then just have like, this is our night plan to stay in, but 
you know, if we want to go out for a little bit, we can, but only till like 11, just because we're going to have to get on like a 6 a.m. flight, which I have not booked yet, up to Orlando, because it's cheaper to pay 172 to fly up to Orlando than it is to rent a car to drive there, which is ridiculous to me, but whatever. Um, anyway, so then my cousin is picking us up, and then it's a Sunday, so she doesn't work. So we're going to hang out at her house, probably pick up some more groceries on our way back from the airport so that we can kind of like have most of our food made and stuff. We're trying to not necessarily be like budget, but the big place where we always spend money is on food. And initially with the strip, you know, the cruise paid for all the food. Um, but instead we're doing more experienced things. So we're going to try and cut back on the food spending as much as we can. And then kind of have a chill Sunday, relax, um, maybe check out the city and maybe do something, but nothing planned yet. And then Monday, we are going to either Epcot or Magic Kingdom in Disney. I don't know which we're going to do which day yet. And then the other one the next day. And then Wednesday, we're not doing like, we don't have any plans. We might do, do like, a spa thing that day. Might not. Haven't really decided yet. But otherwise, it's, like, a down day to not really do anything. And then Thursday, we're going to Universal Studios. And Friday, we're going to Adventure Mountain. Is that what it's called? The other park at Universal. The one that has the other Harry Potter stuff. Because my husband loves Harry Potter and I am indifferent. Anyway, um, but my cousin works there, so she got us, uh, she can go with us and get uh, a discount, so we're gonna go, it's gonna be fun. And then Saturday, we're gonna, you know, chill and relax until about noon or so. It depends what time our check-in is on Saturday in the afternoon. Then we're going to drive down using one of my cousin's cars to Miami. Okay. And then we're going to drive down to Miami with one of their cars because we don't have to rent a car and they have to go back home after anyway. Um, and then stay hopefully in Miami Beach or somewhere on like the coast or something and stay at like a resort or just a hotel for Saturday to Tuesday morning. Our flight leaves at like 7.05 or 7.45 or something like that. Then we'll arrive home around 11 something. Yes, because the time difference. Um, and then after we get home, um, I don't know who's picking us up at the airport yet. We have to solidify that. There's a lot that has to be solidified, but we have like three weeks, so I'm okay with that. And then... On our way back, we're going to drop Gregory off at work because he still has to work a half day of the day that we come back because of the way that his time off ended up going. Um, it's okay. We need to be home for other things other days. And then, um, yeah, that's about the whole trip plan. Um, our flight tickets plus the Airbnb that we've already rented or already like booked out and everything that I have paid, and I paid everything up front, and I got protection on one of our flights there. So I was like, we are going to Miami. If we have to drive home, I don't even care. I also didn't feel like paying $20 for a $60 flight. It just didn't feel worth it to me. But anyway, so with all of that stuff that I've already paid for and booked, it totals like a little over $350 right now. And then I have about $172 that I need to book for the flight up to Orlando. About five fifty for our two days of tickets to Disney. Two days for two people is five hundred and fifty dollars. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, but whatever. And then um and that's just like the cheapest basic one park a day ticket pass. It's just wild. But anyway, um so I have the five fifty that I have to pay for yet. And then obviously we have not picked a hotel yet because we're not there yet. Um, so we have to do that, but we're going to be splitting it between four people. So I'm pretty sure the cost of that is probably going to end up being less than $200 a person. So I'm hoping that it's in the like 
250-ish range for Gregory and I, 300 max. Then the only other thing is like food and souvenirs and whatever. I'm hoping to pack light and be able to bring back some stuff, um, especially because it's right after Thanksgiving that we're going. I am kind of hoping there might be some cute like Christmas keepsakes or things that I can get as gifts, which would be nice. So that's kind of what my cost breakdown looks like right now. There's also, you know, the tickets to um, the, uh, the, the the zoo and then anything that the Ubers, everything like that, extra spending money. So that's kind of what my cost breakdown looks like and what I'm looking at in terms of real pricing for November of this year. I booked our flight tickets back in like July or August. Um, so they're much cheaper than it would cost. It's like double that if I were to fly now, <laughs> um, to buy the tickets now, which is why it's so expensive for me to get, um, the flight from Miami to Orlando. Otherwise, if I had booked it then, it probably would have been like 50 bucks or something. Whatever. Anyway, and I, as far as I know, November is like off season around like the holidays, but not on a holiday is considered like off season. So I'm pretty excited to see what we can see, do what we can do, be in the, hopefully it's warm while we're there. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the breakdown of like planning our trip, what we're going to be doing, what our realistic pricing that we're looking at. That's honestly all the pricing that I can think of. I haven't paid for anything else, so I'll let you know if other things come up, and if you want, I can do a breakdown of what we actually spent after we come back. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching today's video. Thank you for being with my sickness, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can get notifications for when more videos come out. Bye. Love, Genevieve.